to all you beautiful souls and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you here for the first time, my name's Terry. I'm an intuitive tarot reader. Today's reading is going to be a yes or no answer to whatever question you would like to ask. Please remember these are general readings. Lots of questions, lots of people, lots of situations. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a more personalized reading, I do offer private readings, thereby gift exchange, meaning I will do your reading for you as a gift. I ask that you respond with a monetary gift. Whatever amount you feel is appropriate will be perfect. That way my readings are affordable to everybody. If you would like more information or to get on my schedule, please email me at Terry's Inspired Tarot at gmail.com and I'll get you whatever information you need or onto my schedule if that's what you desire. Now, looking at today's yes or no reading, we are going to have reading number one with the Azerite. Reading number two with the topaz. Reading number three with the blue appetite. Reading number four with the agate. And reading number five with the lapetolite. Please select your reading intuitively. Your intuition is not going to lead you wrong. All right, I'm going to go ahead and jump into these readings now. So I will see you guys there. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number one with the Azerite. Azerite supports inspiration, understanding, and intuition. So those things may be resonating with you in some way. Now let's take a look at your yes or no. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors. Please answer clearly through the transparent tarot, yes or no, to the questions of group number one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's see here. I'm going to shuffle until the deck feels ready, then I'll cut and we'll deal straight from the top, taking three to six cards, and that will get us our yes or no answer. Okay. Let's see here. That's good. All right. So we start with the sun. The sun is absolute positivity. It is super positive. It is wonderful energy. And it takes the negativity out of anything else that it touches in the tarot reading. So it's all about growth and positivity. It's the brightest card there is. Now it's interesting that we have the sun because immediately following the sun is the devil. So there's all this positivity. The devil is about restriction. It's about stuck energy. Um, it can talk about, you know, things, addictions, uh, love triangles, things that make you feel stuck. However, with the sun being right underneath it, the sun just kind of takes some of that negativity out of the devil. And it's, so it's probably about some, something you're addicted to, like maybe sugar or caffeine or something like that. Um, or it's, you know, some kind of stuck energy that you're dealing with. Next, we have the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands talks about a whirlwind romance. It is a, a whirlwind romance where you, it, it doesn't have to be with a person, but it normally is. It could be with an idea or with a creative project, but it's that feeling of emotion meets passion and they kind of swirl around each other. So that is a beautiful energy Next, we have the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords talks about worry. It talks about dealing with um, worry and worry could be around work, could be around home, but it's worry and kind of fretting over the situations you're dealing with. Next, we have the King of Cups. 
The King of Cups is beautiful energy. It is love. It's compassion. It's wonderful energy that is, um, yeah, that is compassion and, um, it doesn't have to be romantic. It oftentimes is, but it doesn't have to be. But it's got that, you know, idea that whoever is the one doing the loving, they want what's best for the person they love. And um, even if that means letting them go or whatever. And then finally, we have the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords is an ending. It is a, you know, over and done with style ending. It's done. And um, it can even leave kind of a feeling of being stabbed in the back or um, just, you know, it's, it's kind of a harsher ending. Okay, so this is a very interesting pile because it has three really, really positive cards and three really, really negative cards. So it's right on the fence. It is um, essentially a maybe. Now with the sun being how the whole thing started, I am kind of willing to even go with it is a it is a whatever is positive for your set of circumstances. So if no is the positive answer for you, then no would be the answer here most likely. Um, if yes is a positive answer for you, then yes would be the answer here most likely. I haven't seen very many of these type of drawings where it was like, it, and it even went, you know, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative um, in that order. So it's, um, it's just a very interesting draw. I feel like the answer is positive and um, whichever answer is positive for you, that's the way this is going to go. So just take it however it resonates, but that's kind of how I feel about this one. Now let's take a look at your situations, angels, spirit guides, ancestors, the situations of group number one, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Four of coins that talks about stable finances. So that is wonderful energy. Now with those stable finances, it also kind of talks about clinging to your money a little too tightly. So make sure you're letting the money flow in and out like it's supposed to. 10 of coins. That's abundance. That's wonderful. So abundance headed in. That is excellent news. Queen of coins. The queen of coins talks about generosity and sharing what you have with others. It doesn't necessarily, I mean, it can represent you or it can represent someone you're dealing with because it's a court card and they all, all the court cards can, but, um, it is, it's that real generous energy where you don't have to be super abundant to be generous with your energy, with your time, with your money. But the Queen of Coins oftentimes is super, you know, abundant, especially with this Ten of Coins. It looks like financially things are going in the right direction for you guys. And then the Hermit. So spending some time alone, doing your own thing. The Hermit also, it talks about the time that you spend alone using it productively. So make sure that the alone time that you're dealing with right now, you're using in a productive way that takes you to where you want to go down your path. Now, let's take a look at Oracle. So angels for group number one, please. Compassion, beautiful energy. You know, that King of Cups has a lot of compassion to it too. There's lots of compassionate energy being poured out on you from the universe. So that is wonderful. Now let's see, I'm going to look at the Hermit with Moonology. What is there to add to the Hermit, please? What do you need to release? Okay, so in your alone time, if you were to use it to meditate and kind of do some inner work, then um, one of the things you should ask yourself is what you need to release. What do you need to let go of? That devil may be showing up in your transparent tarot because there's some kind of thing that you're addicted to or dependent upon that it's time to move past. And like I said, it doesn't have to be a big bad addiction. It can be, you know, being addiction, addicted to social media. It can be being addicted to sugar. It can be being addicted to all kinds of different things. So whatever it is that you need to release, kind of use some of that alone time time to figure it out and move beyond it. Now let's see the four of coins with queen of the moon. What is there to add to this four of coins? 
assessing. Okay. So you, as you are dealing with your money and this abundance is coming in, so it looks good, but you need to do some assessing with that um, money mindset. Like I said, that clinging to your money, that sense of lack, you've got to kind of get rid of that to let this abundance flow in. Now let's see this 10 of coins here. Fear. Oh goodness. Okay. So the, the good news is this fear card, it talks about being afraid, but it talks about overcoming your fears. So you've got to overcome your fear with regards to money to step into this abundance because we do the fear card. And this is talking about a sense, you know, a lack mindset where you have those stable finances, but you're afraid to spend money because then you might not have money anymore. Your abundance will come in when you overcome this fear. And this represents you overcoming the fear. Because look, she's scared on the inside, but she is controlling everything in her realm that there is to be afraid of. So you guys have got this. Now, I want to see the spell casting oracle for the Queen of Coins. What is there in the Queen of Coins here? Closure. Okay. So moving on from something, moving into something new, I feel like this whole thing is kind of about your money mindset um, with regards to all the coins. So just, you know, close out that lack mindset and step into that abundance because it is absolutely waiting for you. Now let's see transparent tarot with this, um, with the spell casting Oracle transformation. Okay. So whatever you're asking about, this is transformative for you. Like it's, it's moving forward. And, you know, I don't, I don't think that I've ever actually said, you know, the yes or the no is going to be whatever's positive for you in a reading before, but that's just how this resonates for me. Um, with it being, with the way they came out being, you know, positive and negative and positive and negative and it being the sun and the devil, which is the most positive card with the most negative card. I feel like there's a lot of different people in this group and lots of you going through transformations. Um, the money message probably is why there's so many people in this group because a lot of us deal with this particular money issue and you guys have abundance coming in when you overcome the fear. So just please take it as it resonates, but it feels like whatever would be the positive answer to your question, whatever would be the, the positive answer, that is going to be what it, it, how this how this works that's going to be how what the answer is so it could be yes or no in this particular case whichever one is actually positive for you now let's see the little starseed deck angels spirit guides ancestors for group number one please whatever they need to hear right now well thank you thank you thank you okay one more there we go all right, let's see here. We'll get this one that, that fell behind the, well, maybe if I can. Okay, there we go. We'll start here. You got Earth Guide. Your sacred calling upon this planet is to simply love and be loved. So yeah, you are here to experience love. You're here for this compassion, the wonderful love of the King of Cups. So let love guide you. Let love overcome your fear. You also get freedom. Follow your heart and nurture your soul with love and freedom to grow. Let yourself grow. Let yourself move beyond and release what you need to release and just, you know, really grow and give yourself the freedom to do that. And finally, you get magnificence. You are amazing, magnificent and unique. But most importantly, you are enough. Absolutely. Say that over and over to yourself. Remind yourself every day that you are enough just the way you are. All right. That is all I have for reading number one. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number two with the Topaz. Topaz supports conviction, drive, and purpose. 
So some of that may resonate with you. Now let's take a look at your yes or no angels, spirit guides, ancestors. Please answer clearly through the transparent tarot yes or no to the questions of group number two. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so I am going to shuffle until the deck feels ready. Then I'll cut and we'll deal straight from the top, taking three to six cards, and that will get us our yes or no answer. Okay, so let's see here once more. All right, here we go. Okay. So we start with the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is a beautiful, emotionally mature energy. She can represent a person, so you or someone you're dealing with, but there is a significant emotional maturity. The ability to process emotions and you know to not hide from them, not run from them, but deal with them, move through them and beyond them. Next, we have the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles talks about significant abundance coming in. You know, you receiving abundance, abundance happening for you. Next, we have the Two of Wands. The Two of Wands talks about partnerships flourishing and growing. So whether these are romantic or um, creative or work partnerships, the partnerships are flourishing, they're growing. And then finally, we have the Emperor. The Emperor talks about you taking a control position in your life, you making the decisions that guide you forward, that guide you down your path, you deciding which way you're going to go. All right, this looks like a yes to whatever you asked Tarot. Now, let's take a look at your situations angels, spirit guides, ancestors. Please show us the situations of group number two. All right, six of cups. So that talks about reminiscing, looking back, seeing how much you've grown. Four of wands. All right, the four of wands is about commitment. It can be about marriage. So some of you may be getting married, but there is a commitment, whether you're making a commitment to a company because you're taking a job that you want or a career that you want, or you're making a commitment to a person or even to yourself. The four of wands is about commitment and marriage and doors opening and just lots of positive energy. The Ten of Wands. So some of you are very overwhelmed. This is a lot of energy too. So some of you very overwhelmed in what you're dealing with. And then the Fool. There is a new beginning. You are stepping into something new. And this beginning, it's like the most significant beginning in tarot because it's the very first one. It's the Fool. It's stepping into the journey. So, and sometimes you kind of got to jump into that journey without necessarily analyzing everything. Now let's look at Oracle Angels for group number two, please. Whatever's in their best benefit. Cherish innocence. That little voice inside you, your inner child, you have to cherish that innocence. It is important to do the inner child work, to work within yourself and cherish the innocence that you have. Now, let's take a look at the Ten of Wands with Moonology. What, oh, let me try again. What is there to add to the Ten of Wands here? Thank you, thank you, thank you. The energy is gaining momentum. Okay, so you are feeling overwhelmed, and it's possibly because the energy of whatever this is, whether it's marriage or a career or whatever, it's gaining momentum, and things are just picking up and going and going and going. Make sure that you take care of yourself. If you're feeling overwhelmed, it's okay to take a break. It's okay to take a breather. It's okay to be like, hey, I need to, you know, just you know, have a minute and meditate and spend some time and go internal and all of that. You know, take some time for yourself. Make sure you're taking care of you. Now, let's also see this Six of Cups out of Moonology. What is there for the Six of Cups? 
nothing will come of this situation. Okay. So that that's about looking back and there seeing how far you've grown really in the six of cups. So if you're looking back and you're like, yeah, I haven't grown. I haven't moved forward. I haven't, um, you know, um, yeah, I, I haven't made progress. Then really that kind of mentality is not going to be beneficial in moving you forward. Don't look back and criticize yourself or nothing good will come of it. There's always some aspect of your nature that has grown. And the six of cups, it can also be about going back to childhood, reconnecting with friends. If some of you are getting married and there's someone from your past that has just come out of the woodwork and is kind of making you overwhelmed, like you feel, you know, you don't know, nothing is going to come of this, this connection from the past. Okay. So that's just specifically for those people who are getting kind of the wedding jitters. Whoever's coming out of the past, nothing's going to come out of that. Now, let's see the Queen of the Moon. And we will do, let's do the Four of Wands. What is there in this Four of Wands, please? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Purity. Okay, yeah, no, this is a very pure energy. This, um, you know, whether it's getting married, whether it's, you know, stepping into a commitment in a new job or just doors opening and positive energy flowing towards you, there is a wonderful purity to it. So there's no need to concern yourself there. Now, let's see the uh, spell casting oracle for the fool. Because the fool is the beginning, it's stepping into the beginning. Finding. Beautiful. You are finding your beginning and it is so significant. And we all have beginning after beginning after beginning in our lifetime. So this doesn't have to be the first time you've done whatever it is, but it's a beginning for you. You are stepping into something new. You are finding something. And look at all the yellow in this card. The yellow represents joy. So there's going to be a new beginning that is just full of joy for you. Now the transparent tarot. Courage. All right, so the answer was yes to whatever you asked, Tarot. Courage is going to be something that you have. You, I mean, you can do whatever it is you're asking about. Your courage is going to play a factor in your question in some way. But you've got the courage to make it through the situations that you're in. Your courage is not going to fail you. Make those decisions that take you down the path you want to go down. Now, let's see the little star seed deck. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors for group number two, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so we're going to start with inner world. Your external world is a reflection of your inner world. So if you are afraid or, you know, even overwhelmed and you just kind of dwell in those energies, it's going to draw more of that for you. So make sure that you calm the inside to calm the outside. Next, you get creation. Being creative is a wonderful way of witnessing the unfolding of your limitless creative soul. Yes, being creative is absolutely fantastic. Do something that is creative, however that however it works for you. And let your soul kind of have a breather. You also get guidance. You are not alone. You are guided by masters and teachers of the highest realms. Absolutely, your guides are not going to let you down. They are with you. And they are going to continue to be with you down your path. So you decide which way your path is going and your guides are in. All right. That is all I have for reading number two. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number three with the Blue Appetite. Blue Appetite resonates with dreams, perception, and understanding. So that may be important to you right now at this point where you are. Now let's take a look at your yes or no. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors. 
please answer clearly through the transparent tarot yes or no to the questions of group number three all right so i will shuffle until the deck feels ready then i'll cut and we'll deal straight from the top taking three to six cards and that will get us our yes or no answer okay let's see here all right here we go we'll get this to hold the cards all right so we start with the six of cups the Six of Cups talks about looking back, seeing your growth, um, revisiting things from the past, but in a positive perspective. Next, we have the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups talks about wish fulfillment and a dream come true. So that is beautiful energy. Next, we have the Page of Cups. So lots of cups, lots of emotion energy. Um, the Page of Cups is about fun and socializing and spending time with friends in a fun way. Next, we have the Hanged One. Okay, so that's the Hanging Man. Um, it can represent delays. So if your question has a timing to it, like will this happen by this date, then the timing might be off because there's there's talk of delays in the hanged one. But in this particular deck, it's also a chrysalis. So it is about transformation and growth. Nine of Pentacles comes out next. That says that you need to treat yourself to a little bit of luxury to bring in that added abundance you're looking for. And finally, topping everything off, we have the Knight of, I'm sorry, the King of Wands. The King of Wands can represent a person. If it does represent a person for you, this person is very passionate, kind of larger than life passion. And um, it's, it's, yeah, their passion just drives them. Now, it can also represent stepping into a creative project or something that you are passionate about. If you do this, if you take the leap and follow your passions, people are going to follow you. People are going to be interested in what you're doing. They're going to be attracted to your energy. So it's kind of like the go ahead for doing something that you're passionate about. This looks like a yes to whatever you ask Tarot, but there is that note about the timings. So there may be some kind of delay. All right, let's take a look at your situations. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please show us the situations of group number three. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so the hermit, so spending some time by yourself. This hermit doesn't have to be um, bad. It, I mean, you can use the time alone that you have very productively. You can do it to start whatever this king of wands is talking about. Now, Ten of Swords. All right, something is ending. We're going to get Oracle. We're going to see what this Ten of Swords is talking about because this is an over and done style ending and uh, I want to see Oracle on it. Let's see what else. Five of Wands. You guys dealing with fighting or really having to put your energy in to fight for what you want or this could even be like arguing and, and having those kinds of situations going on. And then the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords talks about starting something new but you have to take action. You may already have the idea for whatever this new beginning is, but there's some kind of action you have to take to step into it. Now, let's get Oracle for everything. So, angels, for group number three. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Whatever's in their best benefit. Gratitude. All right. So, yeah, make sure you have gratitude in all things you know, there's always something to be grateful for. So make sure you're bringing your gratitude to the table every day. Now, let's take a look, starting with the Five of Wands with Moonology. What can they do about this Five of Wands, this fighting? Meditate and contemplate. Okay, so wherever this argument is or the controversy or the fight or where, whatever, it's time to take a step back. It's time to meditate. It's time to contemplate on the energy. Make sure you're not wasting your energy on a situation that doesn't resonate with you. If you're having to fight really, really hard for something, it may not be for you. So just, you know, take it like it resonates, but it's time to meditate and contemplate on this situation wherever the fighting is concerned. Now this 10 of wands over here, I'm sorry, 10 of swords. 
something is ending. Your hard work is paying off. So the hard work that you've been putting in, the you know excessive work almost that you've been putting in, it may be coming to an end. Things are probably going to get easier because your hard work is paying off. So something is ending. Something is ending, but it has to do with your hard work. So I would feel like you may things may be getting easier. You know things may be transforming into something easy. Whatever this passionate thing is that you have that you can follow that is probably going to take away some of your really hard work now let's take a look at the hermit with queen of the moon what is there to add to the hermit here fear okay so in this um some of you may be afraid of being alone um that i mean that just may be the situation you may be alone you may be afraid you're always going to be alone that it doesn't, you know, you don't have to be afraid. Don't let your fear control you. In this fear card, you see how she's afraid on the inside, but she's controlling everything on the outside. You've got this. The time that you're spending alone is for your growth. You're not going to be alone forever. You're going to have all kinds of connections throughout your life. We all have connections throughout our life that are you know, beneficial and useful. And there's going to be passion in front of you because you got this king of wands. So don't be afraid of the time you have alone. Use the time you have alone for your benefit. Use it to start whatever this beginning is. What is the ace of swords here? Sovereignty. Okay, you are in charge of this beginning. Like I said, there was action you had to take. That is for real because you got the sovereignty. So this is saying you can start this new beginning whenever you're ready. You're in charge of this new beginning because you have to take the action to make it happen. Now, let's see the transparent tarot. What is there to add to transparent tarot here? passion. Yes, absolutely. Like I said, follow that passion. The King of Wands talks about passion. Follow your passions. Let yourself move through your passions and whatever your passions are telling you to do. That is a, I mean, I'm not saying do anything crazy, crazy, but you know, if you want to write a book or start some kind of project or, you know, make something or do something or paint something or make music or whatever it is, whatever you're passionate about, you should do it because you've got the passions coming out really strong in your reading and it's time to start. People are going to love what you do. All right, let's see the little star seed deck for group number three, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Whatever's in the best benefit of group number three, please. Okay. You start with ascension. Your soul is evolving to higher states of consciousness. You are ready for this. Okay, absolutely you are. You've got this. You also get reflection. See all aspects of yourself through the reflection of the one who mirrors your hidden self, which is a really complicated way of saying you need to meditate and go inwards, which you've already been told once. So definitely meditate, go inwards. It's going to help with whatever this controversy is. And finally, signs. The universe has been gently nudging you forward by revealing to you signs and synchronicities angel numbers when you see those three digit numbers where it's all yeah angel numbers if you're seeing those it's for a reason those coincidences that just can't be coincidence they're not they're signs pay attention the universe is guiding you your passions is a wonderful way that the universe gives you signs and signals to move forward all right that is all i have for reading number three thank you so much for spending your time with me if you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number four with the agate. Your crystal resonates with courage, power, and perseverance. So that may mean something to you. Those, those aspects may be things that you're feeling right now. 
Now let's take a look at your yes or no. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please answer clearly through the transparent tarot, yes or no to the questions of group number four. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so I will shuffle until the deck feels ready. Then I'll cut and we'll deal straight from the top, taking three to six cards, and that will get us our yes or no answer. Okay, let's see here. Once more. All right, we'll get this to hold the cards. Okay. So we start with the Ten of Pentacles, so abundance coming in. Next, we have our Queen of Cups. That talks about you being emotionally mature enough to deal with the situations in front of you. Now, the Queen of Swords follows that. That, the Queen of Swords is, um, she's action-oriented. She's very protective. She has kind of a, a habit of being kind of short, short, you know, sharp tongued, I guess, where she doesn't really say that like she, she doesn't worry about tact at all. She says what she means and she doesn't pull any punches. And that's, and you know, it's a very, it's a very action oriented energy. So the queen of cups meets the queen of swords. That's almost like a merging that can, those, those cards can represent energies that you're putting out or energies that you're dealing with. Next, we have death. Death talks about the end of something for the start of something new. That's followed by the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands talks about a whirlwind emotion. Um, emotion meets passion, kind of that whirlwind feeling. It can be falling in love with a project, with a person. It's, it's that kind of energy. And then topping everything off, we have the devil. The devil talks about restriction, talks about stuck energy, and just kind of being stuck where, where you are. Um, the addiction doesn't have to be big, bad addictions. It can be addiction to social media or sugar or caffeine or, you know, something like that. Um, but it, it does represent those sorts of things. It can even represent love triangles. So being kind of caught in a love triangle. All right, this looks like a no. Even with the, the abundance in the background, it still looks like a no to whatever you ask Tarot. Now, let's see what situations you guys are dealing with. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please show us the situations of group number four. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so Eight of Wands, things moving very quickly, fast moving spirit guide messages coming in. Two of Swords, so you guys are dealing with a stalemate somewhere, some situation you don't quite see your way out of. Justice. Justice talks about balance. Balance needs to be the focus. Justice also talks about fairness. So make sure you're being fair in the situations you're dealing with, including with yourself. And then the Two of Wands talks about partnerships flourishing, partnerships growing. This could be romantic. It could be creative, but it is growing partnerships. So dealing with partnerships and them growing and expanding, that could even be kind of the, um, the res not the result, but that could be the, um, what is causing your stalemate or your stuck energy because you're in a growth period and there are growing pains when you're in a growth period. Now let's take a look at oracles. So angels for group number four, please. What is there to add for group number four? Let go. All right. Yeah. It's time to let go of something. If it's not meant for you, let go. If if uh, you're not sure, let go. If it's meant for you, it'll come back to you. Now, let's use Moonology for this Two of Swords. What is there to add to the Two of Swords here, please? Confidence is your key to success. All right. So, with regards to the stuck energy, the situation you don't see the way out of, confidence is going to be your key to success. Confidence is how you're going to overcome that. 
Now let's see Queen of the Moon, and we are gonna start the Queen of the Moon with Justice. So what is there to add to Justice here, please? Assessing, all right, so you need to take some time and really look at your balance. Make sure that you're balanced as far as work and play. Make sure that you're balanced as far as passion and emotion. Balance is key and you may need to bring yourself back into balance. You need to take some time and really sincerely look at the situation. Now, eight of wands as well. Balance. Okay. Yeah. Balance is balance needs to come in quick, like things coming in quickly. And then you got balance. Balance needs to come into the situation quickly. So make sure that you are doing what you need to, to stay balanced. Now let's see the spell casting Oracle for the two of wands. What is there to add to this two of wands, please? empowerment so your partnerships are actually empowering you even if there are bumps in the road as you grow there is empowerment coming through your partnerships so keep working through them it's just a growth period you're going to get through it now transparent tarot what is there there grieving okay so um some of you are obviously not happy with the fact that the answer is no but it's pretty clearly no um, there also, it may be that you're grieving a situation, a loss, um, something is part of your question, part of what you're talking about. Your grief is coming out. You guys are going to make it whatever it is you're grieving. It's not going to last forever. You're going to get through this. You're going to be able to move forward. All right. Now let's see the little star seed deck, angels, spirit guides, ancestors for group number four, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, whatever there is for group number four, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Oh, that is way too many. We're gonna, we're gonna take those back. We're gonna try that again. There we go, that's better. Okay, that's four, but I'll take it. Okay, so we have surrender. Surrender your need to control the outcome and just be with life in this present moment. Yes, just be in the moment. Next, you get light. It's time to reveal your radiant light to the world. It absolutely is. Let your light shine. You also get vibration. Your vibration is being raised to higher levels. You are connected to cosmic intelligence and also channel. You are a channel through which healing energy reaches the world. So that can be as simple as a smile, a kind gesture, something like that. It's wonderful healing energy. Thank you for doing that and please continue moving that forward. All right, that is all I have for reading number four. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number five with Lapetalite. All right, Lapetolite is for rest, sleep, and dreaming. So those things may be important to you right now, may need a little bit of your focus. Now let's take a look at your yes or no. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please answer clearly through the transparent tarot. Yes or no to the questions of group number five. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, now I will shuffle until the deck feels ready, then I'll cut, and we'll deal straight from the top, taking three to six cards, and that will get us our yes or no answer. Okay, let's see here. Once more. All right, there we go. Now let's get this to hold the cards. Okay, so you guys start with the Five of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles talks about fear around money 
or fear of loneliness. There's there's fear where money is concerned probably for um, for most of you, a fear of lack. Now, next is the King of Cups. The King of Cups is about love. It is about compassionate love, true, genuine love. It is, um, it's not always romantic, but oftentimes it is. It can represent a person, the king can, uh, whether it's you or someone else, someone who genuinely loves the person that is the object of their affection. Next, we have the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords talks about worry, being worried around your work or home life. With the fear around money, that could also be just another manifestation of that worry. Next, we have the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles says that there's going to be financial opportunity coming in. It is slow moving, though. The Knight of Pentacles does not move quickly. It um, is slow moving, but it is headed your way. Next, we have the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles talks about stable financial foundations, but it also says not to cling to your money too tightly. That idea where you need to scrimp and save every penny because you're afraid of what's going to happen next, that can cause a lack mindset which can mess with your abundance. So make sure that you're letting money flow in and out like it's supposed to. And then finally, topping everything off, we have the Emperor. The Emperor is about you making the decisions that you need to make to step down the path that you want to go down, to follow your path that is, you know, your choice. And, you know, I'm also going to take the Ace of Swords here because the Ace of Swords says there's a new beginning if you take action. And that really goes well with the Emperor there. The Emperor being... Um, you making the decision and the ace of swords meaning you actually taking the action to start it all right so even with the fives in here because we do have some worry going on with this group it still looks like the answer is most likely yes to whatever you ask tarot now let's take a look at your situations angels spirit guides ancestors please show us the situations of group number five Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, two of coins. I kind of felt that that was going to be there. Um, the two of coins talks about walking that financial tightrope, figuring out how you're going to pay your bills, what you're going to do, how you're going to, where you're going to live, you know, kind of, you know, walking the financial tightrope. That really goes with the five of coins, which is that fear around money. But you guys have got this. Don't let the lack mindset overcome you. Five of Swords. Okay, so again, we see the Five of Swords. You got the Five of Swords in here, the Five of Swords out here. That worry, we're going to get Oracle. We're going to see how you step out of that worry. Five of Wands. So there's fighting. And really, this can be fighting like controversy and arguing with people in your realm. Or it can also be you fighting and putting your energy in and putting your work in, fighting for what you want. And then the Hermit. The Hermit talks about alone time, spending time by yourself, um, really taking your alone time. It's, it says that you can use that time productively. So the time that you have alone, make sure that you are using it to take you down the path you want to go down. Now let's get Oracle for everything. So angels for group number five, please. All right, you get nurture your dreams. So yes, nurture your dreams. Don't let your dreams slip away. Give them your energy. They are important. Now let's do moonology for the fives. What's going on with these fives? How do they step out of this worry in the five of swords? It's a time for healing. Okay, so you need to focus on healing yourself in whatever way is necessary. Um, healing your energy, healing your spirit. Let some of this worry go. Focus on your healing as opposed to focusing on the worry. Because you, <coughs> excuse me, you worrying about the situation is not going to change it. Now the five of wands, emotions are running high. Okay, so whatever situations you're dealing with, they're causing emotions to run really high, which is what's causing this controversy. This probably is actual arguing. 
um, just remember that your emotions, their emotions are all tied up in whatever you're arguing about. And um, let that emotion, let those high emotions kind of ebb a little bit before you continue the situation. Now, let's see the two of coins with Queen of the Moon. What is there to add to the two of coins here? Will. All right. So your will is going to get you through this situation. You are having to make those financial decisions to figure out what you're going to do, but you've got the will to, to succeed. You can do this. Your will is going to drive you forward and pull you up out of that, you know, really tightrope walking with regards to finances. Now let's see the hermit over here as well. Darkness. Okay. So the long night moon, the hermit, you guys may have spent a lot of time alone. Um, you may have been alone for a while and it feels like you're just kind of on your own. You have yourself, you have your guides, you are your companion above any and all things. So make sure that you are taking your alone time and nurturing your dreams. Make sure you're taking your alone time and doing whatever it is you want to do, making those decisions to drive you down the path you want to go down. Now, let's see the transparent tarot with uh, spell casting. Friendship. Okay. So friendship is going to be a part of your, probably a part of your question, but either way, like the answer was most likely yes to whatever you asked Tarot. Friendship is going to play a factor in it. Um, this new start may involve friendship. You may be relying on friends for assistance, making your new start. You may have conversations with friends about, um, the decisions that you're making with regards to like the emperor and you choosing what's best for your path. So you have friends in your vicinity, in your realm, rely on them, call on them, spend some time with your friends, take yourself kind of out of this um, hermit energy because you've been there a long time. So make sure you're giving time to your friendships as well. Now let's see the starseed deck for group number five. Whatever is in their best interest, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. So we're going to start with channel. You are a channel through which healing energy reaches the world. All right. This can be as simple as a kind gesture, a smile, doing something nice for someone just because that is a wonderful healing energy. Thank you so much for bringing in that energy. Please keep up the good work. Now, you also get truth. See your light. Know your power. Have the courage to walk your truth. It's hard to walk your truth sometimes, but you've got this. You can make the decisions that lead you down the path you want to go down. So know your truth and walk your path. And finally, fruition. Rest assured, your dreams and visions will come to fruition. Nurture those dreams and you will realize them. All right, that is all I have for reading number five. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye.